Leading Victorian trader Mick Price joining us here during the Star Championships week. Mick, uh, you have I'm Thunderstruck engaged this weekend in the QE2. Uh, we also thought we'd take this opportunity to have a chat to you about what you may have set for Stradbroke season this year. Winter Carnival in Queensland, hopefully plenty, but yeah, Thunderstruck. So I was only going to go four runs. He was set for the two races, the All-Star and the Doncaster second and second. It's quite woeful, but um, on Sunday morning, I was going to put him out. But as a trainer, you look at your horses, and that Mike Robinson's a good vet. He said to me, I've never seen a horse pull up so good. So I thought at the time that the weather would not be Armageddon uh, for the Queen Elizabeth, and that, you know, I read in the paper, Animo, some sort of veterinary thing, and uh, Very Elegant was, with all due respect, beaten, and uh, Montefilia is probably flying, and Huey Bowman goes off mine onto hers. Um, you know, Zaki, 2,000 metres, so I find all these holes, you know, optimistically, kidding myself, that I'm going to run in the Queen Elizabeth with Thunderstruck, engage Mark Zara, and we are running. So the horse is beautiful in himself, but, you know, there's training and then there's the race. So whilst I say he hasn't been set for 2,000 metres, I had a big push from the owners wanting to go there if the horse was okay. He's going and um, uh, we're doing our best. Well, Mick, um, he's certainly a horse that knows how to attack the line, which we saw in the Golden Eagle this year when he, when he got up. Um, it was your one-time other favourite for the Golden Eagle that we saw in Queensland last year in Brisbane. Uh, how's Ayrton coming along? He's brilliant. He trialled last Monday. Have a look at his trial. Trialled really well. He runs first up in the Victoria Handicap. And there is two races I'd love to run him in because this preparation, you know, we thought he might have been a Stradbroke horse last prep and I think we were wrong and you know, lucky the Queensland, um, the mile race there in the, the Gunsin Carnival. Classic. The Gunsin Classic. Beautiful, big uh, mile race at Eagle Farm for him. He won well. So I think, I reckon a mile with a mile to 2,000 metres and uh, the Queen Elizabeth race in Brisbane is called the, the Q22. Q22. Yes, the Q22, which would be a beautiful race for him to run in and go backwards into the Dooman Cup would be good. You know, Dooman, get around a tight track, but uh, he should be all right. He'll have a bit of practice, a few practice goes there. So he'll be up there. Uh, got a horse running on Saturday called Green Belt, who's two for two. He's an American colt, interesting. He'll be up there for the Queensland Guineas, that type of race. Um, possibly a great little sprinter called Extreme Warrior might be up there for the Dooman 10,000. Um, I don't know about Anna Visto, what we do there, but the Group 1 Touch Tiara towards the end of the season might be one for her. Uh, so we'll hopefully have a team staying at those uh, beautiful Eagle Farm stables uh, of Steve O'Day. Just letting you know, Steve, I'll be there. So looking forward to it. And Mick, um, we all know that a, a, a bit of a stint mid-year in Brisbane uh, tends to bring the horses on. Uh, last year you were there for three weeks yourself. Um, did you derive any benefit? Uh, well, it is good as I touch my stomach like Buddha, um, but no, I need to do more exercise if that's what you mean. Thanks, Matt. I think you actually look better for it, Mick. That's what I was alluding to. Well, you know what, if you don't lead me astray in your little den of iniquity there where you live, I might be better off training horses. I think that might end up on the chopping floor, Mick Price. Thanks very much for your time.